If you are learning Spanish, watch this video to discover the eight best YouTube channels that will help you to get fluency. Hola caracoles y bienvenidos a Spain Spanish. Yo soy Cody and I am one of the Spanish teachers here at Spain Spanish. Aquí un dato curioso. More than 500 hours of videos are published on YouTube every minute. Crazy, right? So you, Spanish student, in that ocean of content, how are you ever supposed to find the good videos that will help you to get fluent in Spanish? No te preocupes. Cori al rescate. I've done the difficult research work so you don't have to and found a channel that teaches whiteboard Spanish, a more traditional teaching style. A super famous American-Mexican YouTuber who's known in Mexico as the meme girl and will teach you real Mexican and travel Spanish in one niche channel perfect if your goal is to pass the DELE exam and five other channels. In this video, let's take a closer look at these channels. Comencemos! Butterfly Spanish Una de mis favoritas. Ana is a great teacher. She's so sweet and has a way to explain things that are de hecho muy prácticas. She has been around since 2013 and has a video on every topic you can imagine. Ella mezcla español con inglés and I like to think of her teaching method as classic yet entertaining. She uses the whiteboard so you can feel like you're in a real classroom. In mi opinión, her lessons are more focused on grammar, but without losing that touch of fun. One of my favorite videos of her is learn 20 or plus Spanish verbs for touch, sight, sound, smell, and taste. Oh, alto ahí. Before I reveal my other favorite channels, remember that we publish five weekly Spanish lessons. So don't forget to subscribe and darle al botón de la campanita so you won't miss a lesson. Spanish and go. Now, if there is a power couple in the English-Spanish language world, ellos seguro lo son. Mai is a Mexican English and Spanish teacher, and Jim, su esposo, just had to get away from Minnesota winters. They have amazing traveling videos, some to the USA and some to exotic places such as Puerto Rico. And yes, they have a video explaining why it is so hard to understand the ticos. I would say that their main focus son las experiencias de viajes, and the Spanish that you would need to not get lost in translation. They film themselves in several situations and also have vlogs and Q&A videos. No se centran mucho en la gramática, but more in how the natives would speak. Gringos try Mexican candy and snacks, mozart pan, takis, and more, will be my favorite video of them. I mean, yo renuncié a darle de mis dulces a mis amigos extranjeros. They never value them. But that video is quite hilarious. Why not Spanish? A veces, channels have a not so traditional beginning. And this might be the case with Why not Spanish? Since Maria, una maestra de inglés colombiana, was teaching Spanish to Cody, a native English speaker. What I enjoy a lot about their videos is the immersion in Colombian culture and how some words used over there are not so, let's say, proper in Spanish. Their teaching method is a mix of reglas gramaticales y palabras comunes en español, using everyday situations to give better examples. I recently just learned about El Día de las Velitas or the Day of the Candles, a Colombian celebration. 
and they have an amazing video explaining to foreigners what this festival is about. I would say their videos are as much for beginners as they are for advanced since they are always mixing English and Spanish. Oh, and by the way, Maria was also a guest on our channel where she shared her five favorite Colombian slang expressions in a video by Juan about Colombian slang. You can check out that video right here. Spanish with Vicente. If you are studying for the tele exam, este es tu chico. Vicente is our first Spaniard of the list, and his videos are mainly in Spanish. Not only does he have a YouTube channel, pero también un podcast y un blog. I would consider Vicente's videos for people who already has some Spanish knowledge. Porque, como lo dije antes, his videos are fully in Spanish and they cover a wide range of topics, like my favorite of his. Como regatear en España, or how to bargain in Spain, and believe me, this was very informative to watch. Because he is a full-on teacher that helps students to pass Spanish certifications, his videos are quite focused on gramática y vocabulario. Español con María Otra maestra colombiana Maria has such a spirit that it is a joy to watch her channel. She's not as focused on grammar as Vicente, but she still will teach you about the verbs and conjugations. She likes to go on adventures and a lot of her videos are about her travel and experiences in Colombia y otros lugares de Latinoamérica. She mixes Spanish and English, so I think I would recommend this channel for any level of Spanish. My favorite video of her has to be when she goes scuba diving in Santa Marta. You can check that video here. Oh, and of course, Maria was also part of our Colombian slime video. Sergi Martin Spanish. El siguiente en nuestra lista, Sergi Martin, is from Barcelona. Which, by the way, is una de mis ciudades favoritas en el mundo. Sergi is a Spanish teacher, and his videos are usually in Spanish. Él es encantador, and not only talks about grammar rules, but also has many videos with historical themes, such as Si Colón no hubiera llegado a América, ¿qué hubiera pasado? A video that raises questions such as What language would be spoken in Colombia if Colón wouldn't have arrived in America. He also has very short videos where he talks acerca de expresiones típicas of this or that country. Great if you're in a hurry but you still want to study some Spanish. I would say his videos are for any level of Spanish since the majority of them have subtitles, which makes it easier for any level. Super Holly. Si estás interesado en aprender español, y creo que sí que lo estás, there is a big possibility that you know Super Holly's channel. Habla perfecto español e inglés, and she is also known as the meme girl, because she once made a video about how to pronounce brands that went viral in Mexico. Spoiler alert, she also has videos with the Nahuatl language, una de las lenguas autóctonas de México. In one of these videos with Nahuatl speakers, they explore certain words in Spanish that come from it, like aguacate, which you might recognize since the word in English sounds similar. Yes, you guessed, avocado. Avocado comes from the Spanish word aguacate, which in turn comes from the Nahuatl aguacate. And yes, I learned this with Super Holly. Here is the video in case you would like to know more. She also has DIY videos where you can learn, for example, how to do una lámpara de nube and many other nice things. Her videos are also mainly in Spanish, but others are fully in English. El mejor canal. Spring Spanish. Vale, vale, podría no ser imparcial. But on our channel, 
you can find amazing Spanish teachers like me and Maria Fernanda, Mariana, Juan, and Paulissima. We teach Spanish through chunks, which helps you to speak Spanish without translating in your head or thinking about grammar rules. The cool thing is, we can teach these chunks while talking about interesting topics or cultures, sometimes even through games. So you can always keep entertained. All right. ¿Has encontrado algo que te gusta? Of course, there are even more great Spanish teaching YouTube channels. Since I couldn't cover them all in this video, I have asked my colleague Maria Fernanda to share some more. If you click the image that just appeared on the screen, you will get to the second part of this video. Pásalo bien.